So this is um, not a Lego automatic gear box that I made, and this one actually will change gears because it has two gear settings. This is normal, which is a one-to-one -one ratio, and then if you push this far up, it's a small gear to a big gear ratio. And this is the motor, and it turns um, these gears that go to here and turn to there. And the way this one works is it changes gears based on how much resistance this you put on this wheel, because these three little gears in here I al always want to turn, because they're being powered by the motor. But if you hold this wheel, which is attached to one of the little gears, then the other two want to keep turning, but this one wants to stop. So in order to accommodate for it, this whole assembly, the whole gray differential, will rotate this way, so they can rotate around it. And that, in turn, turns this gear, which pulls this lever forward, and then changes the gear settings. And then when you release the pressure, the rubber band pulls it back into position. So, this is it in high gear, or second gear. And then when I put a little pressure on this, it changes to it. And when I release the pressure, it goes back. And notice I'm not changing them at all. I'm just putting pressure on this wheel. So now it's spinning much lower, but I can feel it, there's a lot more torque trying to turn it. And then if I release it again, it changes gears. Sometimes, occasionally it'll get stuck, but since I put this white gear here, it usually doesn't, because that white gear acts like a clutch, and it'll allow the shaft to rotate however it wants, regardless of the gear, because it's got a wheel inside of it, as I said in my other video. So when it gets stuck, you can just manually override it by pressing on the bar. And that's it.